Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. And today's video, I'm doing something, or I want to say I'm starting something new to my channel. You guys know that I do a lot of perfume and body care hauls. Well, I show you guys what the products is in that haul, but it randomly comes back up on the usage, the feel, you know, what it's given and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing a weekly perfume tray and a weekly body care rotation. So if you guys are interested in the perfumes that I'll be using this week and the body care I'll be using this week, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's go. Okay, so since this is going to be my first full week today is sunday i'm gonna tell you guys what i had this week i feel like i'm gonna be uploading these videos every sunday so that will be the bonus videos of the week you guys know i do know i do upload on mondays and thursdays and i normally change out my perfume and body care stuff on sunday night so i do believe we're gonna have those bonus videos if you guys enjoy them so i'm gonna show you the products that i use this week and then i'm gonna show you what i decided to pull out for next week so we're gonna start off with the luminous products from bath and body works oh and if these products are available i will be linking them down below they may be commission linked and majority of them probably most likely won't be but they'll be linked below but back to the luminous so i have the luminous collection you guys know i had to get the entire collection the only thing i didn't get was the perfume when bath and body works was doing the annual sale so i decided to pull this out so i did use the body wash the scrub lotion and the spray if you guys don't know the notes in luminous is ruby current gilded iris and praline amber and you guys know i swear by this stuff i love me some luminous i can't wait to pull it back out and give it more use i've been wearing luminous since it first came out but the entire collection no so i've been loving that the next one is going to be the brightest bloom collection i pulled this back out because during the annual sale i did get the body butter so oh lord i love me some brightest bloom so i used the body butter the shower gel and the body spray and of course you guys should know lily of the valley jasmine Sumba, sunbok garden carnation and fresh cedarwood you guys i'm not the type of person that will go by the seasons on when to wear when to wear my perfumes and stuff like that i wear it whenever i want and the way my bath and body works rotation is i start from the right and put the things that i use to the left so as it's working up i will know where i'm restarting at recently during the annual sale I picked up the Pink Paradise. This was the Dragon Fruit and Hibiscus. I get Baccarat vibes from it. So I did pair it with my Dossier Ambery Saffron perfume when I wore this. So that Baccarat feel was given. The notes are Pink Dragon Fruit, Wild Hibiscus, and Blush Moss. And I did use at one point the Five Below Dragon Fruit lotion that everybody said it was a Baccarat dupe. And it all worked out really well. So I did use this, but I think I only used this maybe once or twice throughout the week. Now, I can say I kind of want to get back into it, like give it some more wear. But because I already done been through my Baccarat hype, I was like, okay, I used it. Now it's time to move on. I also was using Denim and Daisies. A lot of people has smelled this or use this purchase this they didn't like denim and daisy but i actually really like denim and daisy like this is how much lotion i have left i didn't buy this during the semi-annual sale but i bought it a while back the perfume i have used a lot of you seen the lotion and look how much body wash i have left like i really like this for a 
nighttime scent or an everyday fresh scent. So I really enjoyed it. I thought I was gonna finish it up, but I didn't. I need to see what pairs really good with Denim and Daisy. And then if I find something that pairs really good with it, then I'll go ahead and use the chew up. But Denim and Daisy is Sweet Daisy's Sun Wash Denim and Summer Citrus. Y'all, this is, <laughs> I love Denim and Daisy for nighttime. It's a soft girl, clean girl air. All right, and then the last few products, I did use the Mimic Compound 49 here in body oil that I got from Marshalls a few months ago. Now, the problem is with these body oils, for some odd reason, they smelled really good when you first bought them, but for some reason, I can't smell it no more. Like, there's not a strong smell to it, a strong scent to it no more, which is really weird. I do like the body oil. It's dry to the touch. It is a Guerman floral. I can't remember which one this mimic, but I will have it on the screen, of course. But I do like the oil. I just don't know why it doesn't carry the scent no more. So I didn't use this but maybe twice and i just wasn't getting the scent power and then my sand and fog roll-on oils i used not picked up i used violet and sandalwood i used rose and current and then the flora de la the flora de vanilla I'm assuming that's how you say it. Sand and fog. And you guys, these were really hyped up and I just go by the hype. Not go by the hype, but I like to purchase things that are being hyped up and nobody lied about these. Nobody. My favorite two is the violet and sandalwood and the vanilla. The rose has a bit of too much of the rose scent, but it's not all rose, if that makes sense. And I, I really use these three throughout the week to mesh with everything that I wore. So lastly, towards the end of the week, I started to use this Whitney Houston body spray that comes from Family Dollar. My goddaughter's mom, I stole this from her. Not stole it, but I took it from her. She had to, so I took this one from her. And this one here smells good. It kind of gives me, it gives me somebody vibe and I can't think of it. I said it the other night. I was like, this smells like such and such. Which one was it? Was it Brightest Bloom? It could have been Brightest Bloom because I had it on the tray towards the end of the week. I was using the Whitney Houston instead of the Denim and Daisy for my nighttime scent. And I was like, this is kind of giving me, and I think I did say Brightest Bloom. Yeah, it smells really good and it, it gives a long lasting power but i did start using this towards the end of the week to try to lean off of denim and daisies so that's what i've been using for the week now let me show you guys what i plan to use throughout this week so let's start with what i put on today no okay i'm gonna start off with what i put on today but i didn't the perfume that i'm gonna show you that i i'm gonna pair with it was not the perfume i used today so I did go ahead and put the pecan, pecan butter crunch body wash into the shower routine. You guys should have seen that video already, or maybe it's coming up. I hauled this, and y'all should have known that I wasn't going to wait too long before I use this. And go ahead and do a spoiler, spoiler alert. I love it. I, I freaking love it. <laughs> I love it. So I did use the pecan butter crunch body wash as well as the pecan butter crunch body exfoliated i did not pair it with this perfume but i plan to pair it with this perfume and again a lot of my perfumes and body care products sometimes they match sometimes i'll be sitting there trying to think if it would mix well together so with me learning how to layer and pair and combo up different perfumes and body products, body care products, I just be doing a lot of testing. And this is the whole purpose of me doing these videos and or my weekly trays to see what does work well together. What don't I like on my skin, you know, because once something hits your skin and it balances out with your pH, 
it may not smell good like it do in the bottles or the or the jars. So that's the whole reason why I do these. So with all that being said, I'm going to pair with Bath and Body Works Honeycomb Perfume Mist. The notes in Honeycomb is sweet shade and golden honey for a warm addictive scent. Honeycomb and like musk and cocoa butter, I think it's called. No, they really don't have notes. So I got to go off of like the scent and this really smells like a honeysuckle. And while it may not pair well with pecan butter crunch, because pecan butter crunch is a rich buttery scent of toasted pecans blended with caramelized sugar and a touch and a touch of warm vanilla. Doesn't seem like it would go, but the sweet scent with the honey scent, maybe it'll shock me. Maybe it would come off to a honey, buttery, crispy, gourmand pecan, like I, I, pecan gourmand or however you would like to say that, that's what I'm kind of hoping for. So maybe it won't go and I'll be able to tell you guys come next week, but maybe it will. But that's what I plan on pairing together with a regular lotion. Now, I'm not gonna always have a lotion, a body wash, a oil, and a perfume, all of the same things like I just did with the Bath and Body Works, but I did pull out last week my complete pairs of all my Bath and Body Works products. I do have regular everyday body wash and lotion in my bathroom. So if I need to use those with anything that I'm working with that week, it's in the bathroom, if all that makes sense. I am going to play with Dahlia, and not play with it, I already love her, but Dahlia from Bath and Body Works, I think they're discontinuing this one, like they're doing Luminous and Tropidemic. I pray and hope not for all three, but if I'm not mistaken, that's what I heard. I'm going to use Dahlia this week. And Dahlia's notes are Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pears, Praline Musk, and Whipped Taco Bean. I have the body wash, the lotion, and the spray. I love me some Dahlia. Something new and something different for me. Whew. I will be testing out the Sweetheart Cherry. If you guys have been following me, you guys know that I am not a fan of cherry at all. I do not like cherries. I don't like cherry drinks. I don't like cherry candy. I am not a fan of cherry. I don't like the smell or nothing. But I picked this up during the semi-annual sale and I was like, let me just try it. Let me just try it because it does have a cherry scent but it's not a bad cherry scent or it's not as strong the other notes that's mixed up in it makes it not so bad sweetheart cherry is the wild cherry crushed pistachio and whipped vanilla so i'm assuming with the pistachio and vanilla in it it kind of balance out the heavy cherry scent so i'm gonna use the body wash i do have the body spray i did buy it without a top but oh well but i do have the body spray as well as i have the fineries not another cherry travel spray now i do like fineries not another cherry it is a cherry scent but it has like amaretta or something in it as scared as i am we're gonna try it and we're gonna pair these three together I will be using my sample Valentino Born to Roma and I am going to pair it with Have a Scent Collection Valentino Perfume Oil, Roll On Oil. And I'm using it together because for one, I want to see if the scents are right on with each other and I want the sample to last longer because you know with samples you really don't last all day but these perfume oils help you last a fairly good good amount of time so I will be using those this week I do have a who is Elijah perfume sample and this one is in Wall Street you guys probably ain't even gonna be able to see it but it is a sample and the scent is Wall Street who is Elijah? I did get a discovery set from them. It was going around Facebook for $7. So basically it was a discovery set from Who is Elijah and they were free. All you had to do was pay for shipping, which shipping was $7. And it took about two months to get to us, but I did get it and I think I'm on my last two. 
since I have purchased it. So I will be testing this one out. I don't know what this one smell like. It seems like it's a strong scent and it seems like it's a good one, but I cannot wait to put it on my body. All right, so I have the Tree Hut Pink Hibiscus Body Wash and Lotion. So I will be using it. Pink Hibiscus Tree Hut. This is Hibiscus and Lang Lang. And here's the lotion that pairs with it. And I decided that I was gonna use the Mix Bar Sparkling Hibiscus Hair and Body Mist to go with it. I am going to play with my Body Ecology. Now, I have been purchasing a lot of Body Ecology in the last six months. When Body Ecology came out with a full, complete new line at Walmart. And I picked up almost every last one of them. So since I purchased them, I might as well see how they how they feel and wear because I heard that they do not last at all, that you have to like really pair it and layer it up with other things so that you could get your longevity. So I'm gonna try it. So I do have the Pink Vanilla Wish in the perfume and the body cream. Sparkling Pink Peony Warm Vanilla and Almond. And y'all, this smells so good. It smells so good. I think it's gonna be good on its own. It's going to be good on its own, but I know I will eventually find something that I could pair this with. Warm vanilla, almond, and pink peony. Yeah, this, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is going to be good. So I can't wait to play with it and try it out. And then the last one is going to be very awkward. Like, I just recently got the OGX Sensitive Plus Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt. Did up from my Walmart, and this smells so good that I probably should have bathed it this today oh yeah i probably should bathe with this today it smells delicious but you guys i am going to try to pair it with the new gangum <laughs> the new gangum fresh from bath and body works mm, i'm gonna try it it may not work i'm thinking because it, these are fresh scent that it will work but it may not go together so in gangum fresh it's juicy pear sparkling clementine and fresh daisies. And this is rose water and pink sea salt. It may not work. We'll talk about it come next week. So that is all my products that I will be using in the week to come. I can't wait to see you guys back on Sunday to talk about this interesting thing we have ahead of us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and I will catch y'all Sunday. Deuces.